when you finish to visit the Vatican Museum, you want to go on the St. Peter Square where there is the big church, the Basilica. just made it to Rome, Italy. As you guys can see, I changed my type of dressing, I would say, because the way I'm used to dress in Romania and how most people dress in Romania, gypsy type of dressing and tracksuit, everyone here in Italy finds it weird. They look at you differently. They find it as if you're dressed dirty or poor, I would say, and this is how they dress here. One thing I noticed different here is the prices, like uh, top-notch hotel in Romania will be 300 euros a night. This is like the top, top hotel in Bucharest, 300, 400 maximum. Here at the Bulgari Hotel, it's 2k a night. Like for 300, 400 euros a night here in Rome, you get some bullshit hotel somewhere. Like, it's not even a hotel, it might be a motel or an apartment, but it's too much in my opinion. I mean, the city is nice, everything is nice, but 2k a night for a hotel here is just too much, even though it's a great hotel, it's nice, blah blah blah. But like, it's Rome, it's still in Europe, you know, in Dubai or LA. The funny thing is, if you go somewhere in the center, a cup of coffee is like 12, 14 euros. And here at the Volkeri Hotel, two cups of coffee were basically 8 euros. Like, it's, I mean, the city is filled with tourist traps, something I don't like. And uh, yeah, the nature is nice, the architecture here is very nice, but. Uh, have a lot of people trying to scam you, sell you bullshit, they sell fake bags on the street. Boys, so we are back in Romania. As you guys can see, my pool is green. I don't even know why. Thank God I'm moving away from this place. We already moved a couple of the cars to the new mansion. As far as it fixing the grass as well. The other vlogs there were fucking holes everywhere here and uh, this is the setup right now I'm gonna set up the camera and start this educational part of the vlog what is up boys I want to start by saying that this video right now is going to be about time management but before starting our subject about time management I want to highlight something I learned now from my trip to Rome and what I learned basically is nothing has changed I talked about this on the telegram channel as well if you're not in the free telegram channel you can check the link in the bio completely free we're 12,200 something subscribers right now I post a lot more frequently and almost daily a lot more than I post on YouTube because it's my general ideas I write every day and uh, I already talked about this on my telegram channel It's basically how slavery still exists and from my trip to Rome Italy right now when I went and saw the Colosseum and started to understand and learn about the history of Rome nothing has changed bro like back then you had the emperors the rich people they were just sitting they have all the money, all the women, all the influence, everything. And then you had the slaves, which had to fight to gain their freedom. And the difference is, right now, the same thing is happening. But instead of using swords, right now they're using currency. They're using money. 
and uh, nothing has changed, bro. Gladiators back then, whenever they would win their battle, they would be praised and they gained their freedom. Right now, same thing. If you win in life, you become successful, you get a lot more money. What do you get? Freedom as well. So if you sit and think about it, nothing has changed. It's just the same exact concept, but in a different type of application. It's the same exact concept from back then. Right now, it's just that it's a lot less violent right now. Going back to our main subject, which is time management. I want to start this video talking about time management, starting from the base. I get a lot of questions all the time. Oh, doc, I don't have uh, that much time. Doctor, how do you manage your time? How do you get to do everything you do daily without like running late, blah, blah, blah. I want to start by first stating that anything you eat, drink and take plays a major role when it comes to time management. Because if your vitamins are on point, your protein intake, your macros, everything is on point. Everything else during that day is going to be on point. I already posted a list of vitamins that I take kind of on a daily basis. And it's it's uh, basically a list of natural herb vitamins, uh, ashwagandha, nothing crazy, like no uh, protein powders or anything like that. No, just vitamins because I genuinely believe these supplements make me feel a lot better a lot more focused and uh, I want anyone that's watching the video and interested in checking out the vitamin list you can go on the telegram channel and search vitamins and you're going to find the list breaking down time management any person that tells me or texts me I don't have time I don't have time blah 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 the first thing I would ask how many hours do you sleep some might find it oh this is very uh, common blah 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 but no I'm going to tell you how my sleeping schedule is. Me, a normal day of my life would be one training session at the morning, work, then going out for one or two hours at night, and that's it. Then I'm back from going to drink coffee or eat something. I come back, do work, and then I would sleep. My sleep schedule, and I have some days as well where I train two times a day. Never missed a training session, never went to the gym and was like, oh, I'm too tired to train today or I feel bad today, unless I ate shit the day before, but this rarely happens. So my sleep schedule is basically five to six hours. I would sleep at three in the morning, two, three, and I would wake up at eight, nine, ten maximum. If I sleep five hours, I would wake up, instantly brush my teeth, get dressed, instantly go to the gym. No eating, no nothing. I drink a coffee, uh, black coffee before leaving the house. And like, I'm very obsessed when it comes to time management that I don't even drink water. So I have my coffee ready in the morning, all my vitamins. I would take the vitamins while drinking the coffee, get in the car, go, get the training session done, come back on five hours sleep five to six hours and i believe anybody is okay with five to six hours because it's all about how your body get used to your program it's not about oh the body needs eight to ten hours of sleep no it's just bullshit it's all about how your body reacts to you helping your body understand your schedule and your needs plus the vitamins help what you're eating help everything helps i started implementing this recently because i know a lot of people like eating directly after training i eat one time a day because i'm trying to slim down even more so i would have a soup or a broth because it it kind of manipulates your body into feeling like you're you ate something and you're satisfied after that work for a couple of hours then i would take a nap 30 minutes to one hour and why this afternoon nap is very important because you slept for five hours five to six hours you trained your body is tired you worked you're mentally tired if you sleep for 30 minutes to one hour when you wake up you're going to feel like you kind of recharged again 
And this helps me when I have two training sessions a day. I would train in the morning, do everything listed, then have a 30 minute, one hour nap, then go to sparring. I would feel amazing because my body rested for 30 minutes, one hour. I mentally rested as well, can get back to work, go have another training session. These are kind of basics when it comes to time management. But let's get more into the spicy things, more into details. I'm a type of person that I genuinely hate wasting time. Like I genuinely get pissed if I feel like I'm in a situation where I'm wasting time. And I want most of you guys listening to this right now, try to shift your mindset into making your mind understand that every single minute of your day is important. What I mean by this is most boys, men nowadays, what they would do is they would hang out with the same people every day, drinking the same drinks, talking the same bullshit stories, doing the same exact thing. I kind of created my circle to be extremely beneficial to me and to them as well. Yeah, we have our sits and talks where we're just talking bullshit, having fun and laughing, but we try to make everything as beneficial as possible when it comes to managing time. Who you hang out with plays a major role in how you're going to manage your time each and every single day. Another very important topic when it comes to time management is girls. If you're the type of guy right now where half of your day is basically texting girls back and forth, replying to girls' messages. I hate to break it to you, my friend, but it's a very bad spot to be in. I'll give you an example of what I do because I like using these real life examples because whenever someone hears them, you can test them out and see if they work for you as well. But me personally, I hate texting girls. Instagram, WhatsApp, doesn't matter, just hate it. What I would do is, let's say you wanna go out on a date. Hey, how are you, blah, 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 the typical normal couple of messages, two or three messages, then I would video call instantly. While I'm on my way to the gym, while I'm, I'm on my way back home, these 20, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, this time that I'm basically just driving and I'm not using my phone and I can't use my phone because I have it hooked to something to check the maps or something. That time I can dedicate it as well to talking to girls. And when you talk by video call, the first date is going to be a lot easier. Everything is going to be a lot smoother rather than just texting, wasting time and wasting energy. This is another kind of trick I use to manage my time properly when it comes to time management every day. Some of you might sit and listen to this and think that, oh, this guy is a bit extreme when it comes to this. But no, like I think in my opinion, the guys that are extreme are the guys that tell you, oh, stop talking to women, stop going to the gym, stop doing this. You need to use every single minute of the day to work, blah, blah, blah. No, that's being extreme. But doing what I'm telling you, which is basically, you're already driving, you're already going to use those 20, 30 minutes just doing nothing. Rather than typing and maybe, unfortunately, you might get into an accident to do something stupid, video call, these 20 minutes, boom, more than enough, you're done. You're using your time wisely. Eating, which is another subject I would like to discuss when it comes to time management. Anytime I'm eating, like a lot of people prefer to go out and eat or sit and chat shit while eating or just, I don't know, look at the food. What I do when I'm having a meal, any meal, I would be watching a podcast, listening to a podcast, watching something important. Like I kind of trained myself to get used to doing something while eating. Some might say, oh, but it's just 15, 20 minutes. I'm a slow eater, bro. I'm sorry. For me, I don't, I don't eat fast. I'm a slow eater. I like to enjoy eating my food. So at the same time, I prefer doing something else as well, rather than just sitting and eating looking at the plate or talking bullshit and the last and final tip i would say for time management because i want i don't want this vlog to be very long hopefully a lot of you listen to the whole thing and you would start implementing these small tips and tricks because trust me on the long run they're going to program your body to become a machine basically for the guys that go and lift weights. You don't do combat sports, you like to go lift weights, run, walk, doesn't matter. Do two things at the same time. While you're doing your workout, running, walking, I don't know, 90 
to 95% of men use headphones and they be listening to music. Instead of listening to music, listen to podcasts. I've said this before multiple times on my Telegram channel. This helped me a lot throughout my life because I've lifted weights for a good period of my life and I wouldn't be sitting and listening to music. I would be listening to a podcast, listening to something educational because while lifting and listening, one, you're benefiting Sorry about what happened, boys. They came to clean the pool, so we had to move to the office. Going back to the main subject and the most important message for this video, the most important point when it comes to time management is what I was saying. You're at the gym. You go one to one and a half hours. You're working out, you're using your body, and you're listening to a podcast, educational video, whatever, and you're using your mind as well. It's basically... If you train both your body and your mind to get used to doing two things at the same time, you have one and a half hours, you're using it to work out and you're using it at the same time to educate yourself, listen to something educational, listen to a podcast, whatever. Instead of going and only training for one and a half hours, then another one and a half or two hours, you're just listening to the podcast or doing both of these things at the same time. And what this does on the long run, and trust me, it trains both your body and your mind to get used to doing multiple things at the same time. To give you guys a real life example, this is my office. We have this computer right here. We have this tablet right here. We have this keyboard which is connected to this monitor that has a computer that's behind the camera. And we have another computer right here four monitors at the same time. I get work done and I'm focused on all four at the same time without feeling like I'm doing something extraterrestrial because doing all those simple tricks, I told you guys like one screen I'm focusing on, the agency, what's happening with the agency, focusing on the VAs, another screen I'm focusing on, the coaching members, the chats, everything on another, screen I'm focusing on, the bot, the software, what's happening on another screen I'm focusing on, the news, Twitter, what's happening, listening to something. Doing what I'm telling you, doing these little simple tips and tricks throughout time, it basically trains your mind to get a lot of work done at the same time. Because having four monitors doing four things at the same time as one person gets you a lot ahead of a lot of people doing one thing at a time. If you check my Telegram channel, a lot of people ask me all the time, Doctor, how do you reply so fast? How are you always like, you ask me something, the coaching members, anyone inside my private community, they get an answer in a second because I'm doing multiple things at the same time. I had a discussion with a friend of mine a couple of days ago and he asked me like, Hadi, how many hours do you work a day? And I told him I barely work. I mean, I don't give this answer out of an arrogant point of view or just saying that I don't work. It's because I consider everything I do work and I enjoy what I do. This is why I don't consider it something like, oh, because when it comes to work, you need to learn how to differentiate between I put X amount of hours, I make X amount of money and actually working to making money. Just basically learning how to differentiate time, working hours with money made at the end. This is basically the difference between a nine to five or any job or a mentality of a nine to five to an entrepreneur or someone growing a business, even with the people that grow businesses, a lot of them go get sucked into this loophole that, oh, if I put X amount of hours, this amount is going to happen, blah, blah, blah. I'll talk about this more briefly in hopefully another educational video. I hope this video helped a lot of you guys watching that had issues when it comes to time management or anyone that was wondering how I personally manage my time and uh, see you boys next vlog.